good morning we are so happy that you're here we daily vlog so if you like this video we hope you will come back tomorrow i just had my 36 week checkup for this pregnancy um, i'll talk a little bit more about it later but it was a really good appointment everything is measured like my belly is measuring great heart rate's great um just like feeling like extra confident after that appointment what I'm not confident about is the fact that we have to sign up today for Dopey Challenge. Um, we are not fundraising with ACS fully. Again, we'll do a little bit more explaining later on all of these topics. Um, we have to register like everybody else today. So we're, we're nervous about getting like our devices situated. So I got to run inside. Wish us luck. officially in the queue on my computer and on our phones. Are you a nervous wreck like I am? I'm actually not. I'm not even the one running. But it's the 10 year anniversary of Dopey. 30 year anniversary of the marathon. A little, a little just like side comment. We'd love to do a castaway key challenge. <laughs> if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. I just feel like there's a lot right now. Oh, it's 9.57. Yeah. We gotta get ready. <laughs> you took off Luca's foot? Oh gosh. Ah, we're at 9.42 and things still aren't happening here. Run Disney did put in an update on this queue that we're in saying that they're working on issues and they thank us for our patience and the stress is real but everyone's in the same boat and we're still in the queue also i have to point out that james greets us like that every time we come home like drops what he's doing throws his arms open and runs towards the door and i hate to think about a day where that does not happen anymore and so i'm going to try and capture it whenever I can but it is just like the sweetest thing um and I'm so happy he did it today he Peter he was in Peter's arms and he said that he like basically jumped out of them to come and greet me at the door gosh I thought I thought there was an update but yeah it's just the sweetest greeting Jamesy's being the best kid just sitting here watching Moana while I wait anxiously at my computer. Peter had to go into a meeting, so I've just kind of been on edge. He's been able to like keep his phone on and stuff, but I don't know, just feeling the pressure. Just so much like, so much is writing on it. Don't be so important to us. And so much is just writing on this. Dopey has kind of been like what we decided we would like do every year for Run Disney, like every single race. Would it be possible for us anymore if we were like living in both Chicago and Orlando? And if Peter is going to be doing ultras, it's a scary part in Moana. So, Jamesy, it's okay, you can come over. Sometimes he needs a little snuggle during the um Lalo Thai part, but there was just a new message of like a refresh update from Run Disney saying that now they're going to open it at 12 30 which is in nine minutes so now it's nice that i'm not just like waiting to like for something to change hopefully like hopefully now this is it for real Alrighty, we have more than an hour waits on my devices but peter's are looking good okay i think i'm finally getting into the website one of my we had a couple windows open one of my windows Started at 10 minutes, now I'm being redirected to register. So, okay, I gotta register, I'll be back. Did you do it? I think so. I saw the dopey confirmation come through. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. And, okay, 
So a key challenge confirmation. I suppose it's it's there's no better time to say that we're going on the Disney cruise than right now. Disney wish, here we come. <laughs> okay, wow. That was a thrill. Wow, look at this dipping station. We went to Jewel. I just realized he ate a really big tater baby. <laughs> so we got the hiccups. Now he's got the hiccups. We went to Jewel for ready made chicken tenders and tater babies, Caesar salad. Just gonna have some ketchup? Sure. Um, for our last hurrah, plant based grocery shopping. The whole family, not just Peter. <laughs> we gotta support. It starts tomorrow. So some time has passed. We actually started watching Loki, which we've been <laughs> totally out of the loop on, um, but really, really like it so far. I think I've talked about before when we did our Avengers rewatch that Loki is like one of my favorite characters. And I love how un, like you can always count on not trusting him, which is like hard to handle. Great character. Um, Anywho, Peter is putting James down, and I said I would talk about my appointment today, and so I'll keep it brief, but I just feel really confident after this appointment, and it was great to lay out my expectations with one of the midwives. Um, my last appointment, we like totally got the clear for V back, but Peter and I still wanted to discuss, you know, we we still have options no matter what, but having the clear was a huge win. Um, so we kind of talked about it yesterday during our Q and A, but I was able to just like get into specifics with my midwife about what I do want to happen, what I don't want to happen. And she has encouraged me to lay that out. And like she said, like not necessarily a birth plan because she understands like things don't always go according to plan, but more of just like our expectations so that everything that we have discussed is like simply laid out for anyone who happens to come across us during our care. So much of what went like quote unquote wrong with my um, labor and delivery with James was just that I just don't think like things were clear as far as what I discussed with my doctor compared to like what happened with nurses and the team at the hospital. Um, it didn't help that I didn't see my doctor once. Um, and it just, that just is what happened with the schedule. I think it's a good idea for us to lay this out and perhaps a, a tidbit of advice that we can provide other people who want to bring some control into labor and delivery. It's, it's so overwhelming because you, so much is out of your control but just being able to truly lay out what you want and what you don't want I think that's going to be great for us and what was really validating today was again hearing how what we went through shouldn't have happened it was very validating but also just the confidence in all of my answers when she asked me what I wanted for my pain management what I wanted as far as like timeline goes like if I don't go into labor by x amount of time like she just asked me genuine questions and she respected all of my answers and it was just a really good experience I if you're interested definitely leave a comment below I will talk more about our birth plan and how we're going to be moving forward and we can include that in a video I'd be more than happy to go into more detail and kind of I mean, that could even help me wrap my, my, my mind around it all. Um, but just for now, I'll keep that our plan simple. And we, our priority is for me to go into labor on my own to avoid being induced, to accept help progressing if my body is showing signs of wanting to progress. And if the stars don't align with those expectations, 
to embrace the beauty of having a repeat c-section so it was just a good visit now i go every single week so overall just like with my care i think you can tell like i'm just i'm more confident with the care i've received i am confident with the fact that teddy's head has been head down and that works in my favor as well as the average size of his head as well as the fact that I did progress to 10 centimeters dilated with James so like this is not my first labor like I just happened to deliver via c-section like I went like I went through all of the steps beforehand so these are just things that they've also been telling me why we believe that VBAC will be successful for us and that overall my experience will be very different. So, I mean, we're going to pack our hospital bag. I got some organizing stuff today um, in the mail. And so I'm like hoping to film basically like a nursery rearranging video very soon. Um, and overall, just like hoping things continue to go to the same way and keep my confidence where it is because I do feel really good right now about our decision. Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. I know we like hopped from me talking in bed last night to me <laughs> talking this morning, but we just never signed off last night and we decided to make this a two-parter. So it is Wednesday. James, oh, my phone is ringing. It was Christina. Lucas started gymnastics, and so she was telling me all about it. But James E, he's having a rough time with his teeth. So his like two canines on top have both poked through now. Um, he's also had this like running nose situation. We were thinking like maybe they were connected. I don't know. I just feel like he's going through the ringer. Didn't have the greatest night's sleep. So he also like has had that little chip. And, and like it's not really a chip they just said it's like weak enamel in his front tooth and so he's going to go to the dentist get everything like kind of checked out make sure he's not having pain otherwise and then we have decided to get that filled so it'll just be like a surface level type thing it's not between the teeth which is great but it's more so just to make sure it doesn't spread and like have any long-term effects so that is kind of what's happened this morning and now I am going to take on organizing the kids clothes I'm gonna like Jamesy's like out of 12 to 18 and more like 2t now so we just want like everything to be fresh when the baby comes so I'm getting Teddy's clothes organized Jamesy was playing with these um, organizing cubes that I'm gonna put in the drawers of this bed and then James is gonna still have the armoire but a lot of this stuff does not fit him anymore so just like a nursery refresh um, Peter actually has been off this morning of work so he's gonna take the time just be with Jamesy and just enjoy like a relaxing morning together and then I can get this done without worrying about James <laughs> two hour job. So Peter is starting back up with work and I'm basically just gonna make this room like functional again. But it's definitely, it's just in that, you know, it's gotta get worse before it gets better stage. Hey Jamesy, hey Jamesy. Are we going grocery shopping? Look how cute you look in that little sweater. You look like your grandmother. 
like those guys. We're at Trader Joe's. All right, we're walking in the Wrigley. We're on the corner. Sarah just got back from grocery shopping. I did not film a thing. <laughs> I did not film what we got. Except for these apple cider drinks on the wall. But we're 15 minutes into the game. It's still the top of the first and Cubs are already losing 4-0. So let's get in there and maybe James will bring some good juju. There's something about walking up these steps. Being greeted by this. Our seats are in like a sweet spot of sometimes it'll be covered, sometimes it won't be. Today, our seats are dry. Bottom of the first, not too bad. Not a lot of people here. No, not a lot of people here today at all. Bad forecast for weather. I didn't put a lick of makeup on today. Our plan is we just come until it's not enjoyable anymore with the weather. It's so windy. Um, yeah, but this is like the true perk of living so close that like there's there isn't like the additional like travel and time and stuff just to get here. Right. It's just down the road. So I do. Jimsy's in a port now. Watching Olaf's frozen adventure because it's frozen. But he looks about 15 years old when he holds the phone like that. Oh, goodness. <laughs> dance it, dance it, dance it, dance it. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> Cool. He came in the big cub store that's inside Wrigley. We're at the second, we're on the second story of it. So you can see down into the concessions. This mural is so cool with the L, the Chicago flag. And then over here, all of these framed pieces. If you wanna pause and read this about their advertising campaign. So cool. So much really nice Cubs merchandise up here. These are so fun. Sweaters and jackets. Wow. What's that about? Alright, the rain's starting to come down, but we're perfectly the wind's helping us get blocked by this. <laughs> James thinks it's hilarious. And uh, let's see what happens to this game. The face you make when you realize it's 100% rain for the next three hours. <laughs> he's, he's discovered that flag up there. We're debating on when we're going to bounce. It's going to be raining no matter what. We're like, we're somewhat covered right here, so the walk home is going to be more brutal. Oh, now it is. Yeah, we're we're mostly dry, but out there it's not. On the walk home, it's not. James, uh, James says it's, he's calling it. James over. We're going home. As it made it down to the first floor, they announced just now, game is delayed. Game is delayed. Teamwork is the name of the game. We just put James on. Well, Sarah's putting James on. We just did our bedtime routine. I'm now going to head into the kitchen and deal with some dishes and take out the garbage while Sarah puts James down. It's just before 10. Um, it's a good day. It's a good day. It's uh, good getting James's tooth situation kind of sorted out there. Um, I'm ready for the weekend, my friends. I'm ready. I know it's Wednesday, but at least tomorrow's Thursday and like the weekend is a glimpse away. So that'll be good. One hour later. All right, it's like 10.30. The deal was, I do the dishes, take out the garbage while Sarah puts James down and takes a bath. Sarah's still with James. I think she fell asleep. So now I have to go in there, sneak in and see if she's awake 
while not waking James up. So, wish me luck. Have you vlogged since we met home? Yeah. Should we pause this? So we can't hear these men bickering. It's which roll? What? It's which roll? Um, did you, we explain why we had to buy our dopey bin? I don't think we ever did. Because we neglected ACS's sign up morning. We forgot. We were literally just twerps. Had no, we, we were well informed. We were on all the emails. We were, and we were just, it just totally. Whew. So, the ACS didn't have any bibs. So, we're still figuring out if we're gonna have some sort of page. We still need to talk about World Marathon Challenge. We can fundraise for ACS without having them acquire a bib for us. Right, so we with still no might minimum. be able to fundraise. We're always a part of Team Determination. There's no doubt about that. So we'll still be with the ACS team that weekend, but just actually having a fundraiser page. That's why we had to scramble the morning of <laughs> to make sure we got a bib. We're so thankful that we got a bib because a lot of people didn't. It was a kerfuffle of a morning. Um, but that was just something that I remember us saying we needed to talk about. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Good night. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.